it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is keeping safe and well. Now today, guys, I have this gorgeous Lepismia Mayagari in absolutely gorgeous orange flower. And there's a lovely little story behind how this particular plant got its name. And I'm going to tell you about that now. Now, last year, I put a video up of this, of this lovely cactus, Lepismium, in flower. And a few weeks later, I was contacted by um, a gentleman called Chris. And he sent me a lovely email explaining how this plant got its name. And it's absolutely remarkable, guys, and very special. I'm going to read out Chris's email now. So, Chris, if you're, if you're watching this, I hope you don't mind me repeating this, but I think it's too much of a lovely story not to share with the viewers here on this gorgeous, gorgeous plant. And um, this is the mail that Chris sent. He went, hello, Lynn. It was lovely to Google my father's name and discover your video on YouTube. My dad, Mario Mayagawa, had a passion for cacti in Vermilia Sea. He was a botanist and spent much of his life collecting plants in Bolivia and sending those which he thought to be new species to the botanical institutes of his former universities, Heidelberg and Bonn in Germany. Eventually, his former professor determined that one of the species he had collected was actually new. And so they published it, honouring my father by naming the plant after him. Fafera Mayagawi, later renamed to Lepismia Mayagawi. And Chris then goes on to say, I remember how proud he was when he showed me the news and gave me a copy of the original paper. So isn't that amazing, guys? This is named after Chris's father. So very, very, very special. And I wanted to share the history behind this gorgeous, gorgeous Lepismium. And if you want to know, if you're not familiar, this is actually part of the Ripsalis family. And um, very happy to say there's one, two, possibly even three more buds coming up on this. There's definitely two there, and that looks like it's coming out as well. But it's absolutely gorgeous. It's only a little one, little cutting I've had for a couple of years, but it's doing very well. And so happy to see it in flower. So guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you, Chris, for contacting me and sharing the story, the history behind this of your father. It's absolutely remarkable. And what do you think, guys? Isn't that lovely? So happy to hear how it's got its name. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to know a little bit more on how to grow cacti and succulents, including the um, epiphytic cacti, which is, this is part of the epiphytic family, do check out the video I've made on how to grow and care for epiphyllum. And this includes all of the epiphytes, including the, the ripsalis as well. And also, if you want to know a little bit more on growing cacti and succulents, do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. I don't want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of plant power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye! Bye! <laughs> Beautiful!